Hi, this is Dr. Marion Carroll at Xavier University in the Department of Chemistry. Welcome to Biochemistry 4130. Biochemistry is concerned with a number of uh, things of understanding molecular interaction, synthesis and degradation of biomolecules, the, the organization of these molecules, the central dogma of molecular biology, that is the replication, transcription, and translation of the genetic material. And in this chapter we will concern ourselves with the structure, the basic structure of organic compounds, where they are believed to have originated, and the energy that is involved in these structures, how it is utilized to drive chemical reactions. We want to concern ourselves with a number of questions that relate to these topics. I've given you two here. Which of the following groups of elements contribute to 87 percent of the total dry weight of the human body? This is a simple question that can be answered simply by reviewing the, the topics in the chapter. Another question is how can the complementarities of complex molecules aid in their replication? So if we look at prebiotic error, that is from about 33.5 billion years ago, we'll find that there are evidences of multicellular organisms we previously had no knowledge of. This prebiotic era is thought to have arose through one of two or maybe both theories, one in which involves the generation of simple and biochemically significant organic compounds through a week-long experiment in which these organic compounds were generated by applying heat electricity to a mixture of inorganic precursors. And the other idea is that life arose from hydrothermal vents at the ocean floor. The key elements biochemistry include a number of these amines, alcohols, aldehydes, and carboxylic acids, to name just a few. And these are believed to have developed over time and have become useful in facilitating the polymerization of smaller molecules to larger ones. Uh, this central reaction, the condensation reaction, is very essential to the formation of complex self-replicating uh, organisms. Natural selection would favor those that could self-replicate either directly or by a template, and the template complementation would occur between these functional groups that could participate in the condensation and hydrolysis reactions. It is believed that larger, more complex cellular organisms may be, may be a result of symbiotic relationship between multiple cellular enclosed organelles that could act together with uh, within a single entity and thus we have a much larger a more complex structure than uh, before. This is the foundation and distinction between a prokaryote which would be represented by one of these organelles, and the eukaryote, which would have cellular compartments. Evolution provides little direct evidence of the origin of life. We know that life evolves and there are many different forms, but they do have in common a DNA content, which can lead to an understanding of families of different uh, groups that can be elucidated from the phylogenetic tree 
evolution is an ongoing process. It is the random accumulation of good and bad events based on past constraints. And it is a fact. This evolution is ongoing. So I want to thank you for your attention. This is part one of chapter one. I will continue with part two on thermodynamics in the next video.